Welcome back to Link's Awakening. I have a new friend. I also have... I'm gonna assume this book is the thing. The Hidden Power of Color. Yes, I want to read it. So, Link's Awakening was at one point remade for, I think... Game Boy Color. The Game Boy Color or the Game Boy Advance? Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color. Yep. And when it was remade, functionally identical, except color. And they added a new dungeon to it, the Color Dungeon. So there's... This is your hint on how to get it, because the Color Dungeon was brought over into this remake. Which, I'm which on one hand, I think like that was super cool that they brought it over. On the other hand, if they wanted to make this like the definitive version, they kind of had to. I mean, it's so cool, the fact that something that's just in the deluxe version is just like, yep, we're bringing it over for this. And it's like, oh, that's so cool. I like that forever. Okay, gravestones, three, four, five, two, one. Man, I'm going to have to like write that down. I mean, I have something here if you want me to remember that for you, so. Mm, maybe I will choose to write it down still. I mean, that's, that's fine with me. Okay, three, four, five, uh, two, uh. one. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Dude, you know what? If you look at it, start it from the one and go around, it actually makes way more sense. Like, look at the number combination oh. again. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I was like, oh, that makes way more sense now. I think you can warp to the graveyard. Uh, graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. Oh, yeah, you can use Mambo's Pawn. It's just north of the witch's hut. Just just use the mom, Mambo's Mambo and you'll warp. You'll see a that? warp. Yeah, that's the Mambo's Pawn. That's not the button. He said it like at the end, like the end of his thing. It's like it's a special treat. I'll let you warp to Monbo's pawn. Oh, oh, I I saw this, but I don't know why I was assuming he meant like right here. I I mean I don't know why Monbo's pond is all the way over in a landlocked area, but yeah, just a random pond over in the middle of nowhere. It's not even a pond. It's friggin' and whose place is that? I don't think we've. I don't, know. I don't think we've been I think in there. It's Mambo. Yes, where Mambo lives. That's not Mambo. I don't trust her. Oh, it's Tracy. Crazy Tracy. Oh, oh she, boy. She I, you... I do not. I already don't trust her even more. I think this is her first appearance in the series, but she gives you a potion that if you get knocked out, you come back with one health. Um, I don't have that kind of money. Look, I don't have that kind of money later. I'll show you, chicken! You just run out crying. <laughs> it's like, wow, you sure showed me, chicken. I guess that's why it's Monbo's pawn here, is because it just gets you to tra crazy Tracy's quicker. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that. We got the witch hut down there. So we're looking for the graves, so that's going to be down here. Which I think it'd be easier to cut through the witch's plate. Well, I'm already almost there. I'm already shut your mouth. So that's five. There's one. How many hits do you take? A lot. It's like ridiculous. Hey, I remember you. Oh, you can bomb that now. I can. And I think you can kind of... You should be able to make it. You got a lot more wind-up on the Pegasus boots than you think you do. No. We tried this in the water thing. You can't do it on one tile. I I thought you could. I mean, I'll give it a shot, but I already died here once. I mean, what's going to stop you again, coward? Oh no, you get I guess like since there's not a wall, I can back up to it just a hair more. And you got a full piece of a heart, so. Yay. Really, you're gonna put me back here, you're gonna make oh me go back? God. You shut up. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm not actually interested in going out, so... I think the worst part is I had that kind of, like, reaction of, like, what a dumb dumb. And you just walked off the edge there. I mean, I did that in hoping it would take me to the entrance of the room. Okay, so you remember what you're supposed to do at number one, right? Hold up, I'm busy just kind of, I'm feeling out my environment and getting attacked by eight million ghosts. I just want to push everything. Okay. So many ghosts. I just want to shove all of them, see what happens. You know what, I'm going to go reset this. You shut up! Listen, all he wants to do is just go back home to his house in the dock in the bay. You can do that without me. You're gonna follow me every friggin' square inch of the thing. Okay, so... It says one down. If I look at what they gave you, even vaguely resembling what's here, then that tells me, like, this would be down. So that's one down. Two is... Cleave. That way. Three is up. Four is right. And five is also up. Go away! Go away! I think it's telling you it's just not going to work, so... Oh, it's because you have not... the ghost with you. He's telling you to go take care of the ghost and then come back. That's the problem. Well, that's a little butt. It's, just, it's the Bow Wow thing all over again. God dang it. And you're just discovering all the funny things in here. <laughs> like Richard... Look, I just want to do a thing, all right? Richard won't let you do the rest of the game. If you have Bow Wow with you, and now they're just going like, Hey, go! We're the only ghost allowed here. Okay, here, this is the house. This is the house you want. God dang it. Listen, I, I don't know how long I'm going to be on this island, and you're dead, but can I have your house? I'm going to be honest, I absolutely do not remember this ghost from Link's Awakening. It's nostalgia unchanged. I mean, the art style's vastly changed, but... Oh, you're talking about your house, okay. I feel bad because that was supposed to be, like, super emotional, and I felt it. I felt that I was supposed to feel super bad for this thing, but I'm also like, are you done yet? Oh, yeah. I feel yeah. so bad. You used to be alive, and now you're rethinking all of your things and everything, yada, yada, yada. Can we get this going? I got a time limit here. Okay. There's only one cemetery I know of, and it's this one. Hoping he kind of tells me where I'm supposed to go. So I'm just kind of walking around. 
Nope. Nope. I mean, you're in the right uh, area, but... Yeah, he's not telling me anything, though, which means I get to start poking around. I mean, you have a map. Maybe you can look into your map real quick. Oh, it's, you know, it's probably this one. Not gonna just have a random ghost NPC show up. Oh, with the flowers. There's your hint. I would have figured it out from there. Would you? Would you really? Maybe. You know, you're gonna have to get arrows at some point. You're supposed to get arrows from bushes, like every adventure. That's just where arrows are. All right, that was altogether weird, but I got a bottle. Yeah, in the original, he doesn't give you a bottle. I think he just kind of peacefully goes to sleep, and then the owl shows up. Which is like the weirdest diversion, now that I think about it. Yeah, like, kind of like I mentioned before, the water current took you right down to the bay. So this was kind of weirdly pulling you out of the way. Also, now showed up, so I stopped paying attention. What do you say? I wasn't paying attention either. We are bad at this. All right, now you can do the grave stuff. Yay! Hopefully, I don't die because I'm running low on hearts. I mean, you slashed the grass at one point, and a heart showed up, and I'm surprised you didn't go back for it. And I was like, oh. I wasn't paying attention to my life. I mean, how many people have said that before? <laughs> Have any of us really? No. I do remember these ghosts being like, if you pay attention to the first ghost, the one that's always on the screen the first time around, and just keep attacking until you kill it, then it that kills all the other ghosts that you produce. Hmm. But it just it takes so many hits to do. The Color Dungeon! Can I, like, can't talk to you again? I'm Gar. I'm Dion. Oh, they're Guardians. Oh, I have some. I have 20. Ah. Uh, how much of this do I actually want to die? Well, let's poke our heads in. Ah! You remember us from Luigi's Mansion? One game series we gotta do at some point. Digging the music. Huh? Digging the music. At Zelda one dungeon music. That's one game series we gotta do at some point, Luigi's Mansion. Oh hey, I didn't even have to buy magic powder, I just got some out of a pot. Well, I guess it's just to remind you that maybe you should have some. Oh, is that just a bombable wall? <laughs> like, bomb this. That's pretty blatant, if you ask me. Oh, it's nice, though, that there are circles and squares, because, you know, color dungeon, people are colorblind. Huh. <laughs> I think it's that Chris Hollander room all over again. <laughs> Uh, Hulahan. Hulahan, thank you. You know, I actually got into that one time. Hmm. Yeah, I was playing on the DS version. And, uh... Alright, I need a beat. Yeah, I just managed to run in there at one point, and I was like, Oh, cool! Got them all red easy enough, but that wasn't the solution. I 
I was entirely unsure what those were trying to do. I mean, I'm more concerned about the angel of death over here. He's just pooping out bombs out of nowhere. Yeah. There we go. Got him on the ground. I haven't used my feet in years. Oh, no. He triggers him, too. Okay, well, we're good for now. Okay, can I just go down? I think. Uh, take a look at your map. It tells you what your doors can do. Nah. Nah. Ooh, more bombs. To kill people is... Okay, don't have a key. I, it looked like a one-way door, but I wasn't sure if it Look, was like... Yeah, it's a one-way door. Which way it was one way. God, I wonder if you can figure out this puzzle. Ow. Heck. Heck. Rude. Make a slash at him, for God's sakes. It's like how you solve everything else in this game. You slash at your sword at it. You can just pick them up, too. And don't get shit. Again, that was one of those, the first thing I did was slash at it, and it just kept spinning and hit me. So my brain said, okay, slashing at it, not the solution. Maybe I'll try my shield. Weird. We're just not scientists. That happens way more often than you'd think. I am not, in fact, incompetent. We're Sometimes the world just doesn't like We're it. just not scientifically minded. Maybe if I should do this again, just to make sure my hypothesis is correct. Nope. Not really sure I understand how you guys work with color. I think... Other than just being color. I think that's pretty much it. They're just there. Wow, you got a lot of rupees. Oh, yeah, because that one room. Um... I think they were just they were just there to show off the color. Oh depth. no. Oh no. Oh no. For later, nerd. I can still make my way around these rooms. Okay, and there are two ways up, but one of them is a God, I'm going to tell you right now, these color tiles, they remind me of a candy of some sort and I really want them. Oh, they reset, thank heavens. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just really want some kind of candy that looks like them right now. I don't think I'm going to get anything out of this, so let's just... Yellow. Wish I had any indication what color I was supposed to make them. It's always blue. Just straight up, it's always blue. No other color will solve it. It's just blue you gotta get. I'm pretty sure the statue even says something like, up, oh, blue's the thing you're going for. Yep. Make every tile square. And blue is the square that, one. Effectively, that's blue. <gasps> There's a blue one now. Oh, oh, no. Hey, wait a minute. Green, blue, and red? I wonder if that's some kind of indication the series has had before of some type. Hmm. Got a little bit more time. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Hi! I don't like it, this. Oh, it's you. <laughs> well, I was told something about magic powder, so... <laughs> ah! Yeah, this really reminds me of a bit. Not a bit, like an actual bit from Adventures of Link. This is another game we gotta do at some point. Ah, there's a lot of games we gotta do. Can we just have infinite time to do all the games? That'd be nice. Ah, oh, you can go diagonal. I knew it! I'm getting worried about the quantity of health that I have left, so I'm glad that went well. Uh, 
Better be a small key or I can't progress in the dungeon. I mean, okay. It's a nightmare key. Oh, I have a, I have another small key. Okay, I must have gotten a second one somewhere. I'm gonna be honest, I blank on where he got the second one, so... Surprised? No... Warp point. Just, just gonna hit all the red ones along the way. By the way, those little pits, you can actually fall down into those. Oh, hi. You don't know what I want. Okay, gotta jump oh. for that. Got it. It's Guts Man. Banner. I just stab you. Tell you straight now, I love this boss's design. Oh, glad that worked out. Did he just have Omega symbols on his hands? I do like me an RNG boss. I mean, I just like his design. I didn't care much for his patterns. <laughs> you thought you were going out easy, didn't you? Okay, how in the world am I? Okay, so there's a switch in the upper left. I just have to get over there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just like how you were like, nope, I'm out. I swapped them. I mean, admittedly, pretty cool. Hey! I hate you. I didn't even realize the statue actually blind too. That's it? That's all you got? Oh, well, it's a key door too, so... Okay, so probably the other door, because there was that one other door. How do you catch something in a bottle? Uh, I, I use it, I guess. You swing a bottle at it? You don't have to have a net or anything, you just bottle them. I mean, who uses a net to catch things in a Zelda game? That's just ridiculous. Okay, so we did that. And they all reset and you have to do it again. I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> well, worst game ever, too much puzzle. I like when you have the increased power, those guys don't split, they just friggin' die. Yeah, you just slash them in half. Oh, yeah. Yay! God, I thought we already had the map, but I think I'm thinking back to the last episode. Oh, well, I was thinking of cutting this early, but we're right here, so... Ooh, a triangle. Get in there. Get in there. No. Get in, get in your hole. Leave me alone! Get in your hole! Listen, I'm trying my damnedest not to reference that horror manga there. 
Okay, we got our key. We can go get out of here. I don't even know why you went around. You could literally lift a, po a bottle and just walk around. Got him. Do hearts and pots respawn? Don't think so, but... I mean, they probably do, just not right away. Hey, if I were about that bow and arrow... Oh, you already have arrows. Came with 20 complimentary arrows. Gee, I don't know what I would have done otherwise other than just kind of stand on him and let him push me up and then walk back across. Yeah, so literally nothing would have changed. Oh boy, Color Boss. I have no idea who Color Boss is. Are you one of those bouncy guys? You're one of those friggin' bouncy guys! I need a pit! Or like 8 billion sword swings. Down. No, you're breaking my shield. I don't like that. No, I don't want to. I don't know what that was that fell down. I don't know either. It looked like the yellow devil. And I kind of don't want to fight the yellow devil. I think it was an enrage. I don't know. I also like that because I'm pretty sure in the original DX version it was supposed to be showing off the color palettes they had. Oh boy, the power of color! Now you get to choose. Do you want to be more powerful or do you want to be more defensive? Or you can choose neither. Ooh. I kind of want... Here's... I'm usually more for power. Here's the thing. Le Here's the thing. I'm going to tell you this right now. You can right? come back and change at any time. Okay. So you don't... See, I not... usually go for power because... Like, best off... Best defense is a good offense kind of thing. If I kill a guy in one hit, then it doesn't matter how much damage I take from him. So I usually go for that, but I kill most things in one hit. Yeah, I just want I just wanted to let you know straight up, you can always come back and change. There's nothing that's stopping you from doing that. I don't know, I also have like eight million hearts. Why do they make me confirm it like eight thousand times if I can't co if I can come back? It's not that big a deal. Also, red mail is more end game. I kind of miss that in the three in the three D Zelda game that they never. Oh yeah, I should have gone with blue and then changed to red when we got later in the game. Yeah, we did it. I kind of miss that aspect from the original Zelda, uh, the 3D Zelda game, where they never really gave you, like, a defense increase like this. Yeah, they ended up making the tunics more about different functionality, whereas there's just something that feels good about, come endgame, I just look more endgame. I think it's probably because by the time they hit Link, Link to the Past, they were like, oh, Link's just defined by his green tunic. No, Link to the Past had it. It was Ocarina of Time that changed it. What? Well, I know that. And I can't really say Link to, Link's Awakening had it, because this was in the remix version. And uh, there was no color in the original one, so... There we go. I got it. I mean, technically there was two colors, but I'm, if you want to get technical on that... Green and black. <laughs> green and darker green. Green and I think I threw up on the screen. Oh no, wait, that's just how it looks. Okay, so until next time, everyone. That was more than I was expecting it to be, or I, we did more than I was expecting to do, but it worked out in the end. The next time we're going to Martha's Bay. Martha. There, I did it. We can move on now. Okay, that's four, so this is probably Dungeon 5. Probably Dungeon 5. Uh, I remember a 6 and 7 that I pointed out earlier as probably being dungeons. 
And there's a little glowy spot in here, so that's probably eight. Not necessarily in that order. Death Mountain dungeons feel like endgame dungeons, so... I ain't telling you anything. This is your game. I'm guessing this out. is going to be five, and then probably this one's six. And then we have seven and eight up top. Death Mountain is endgame, so that's how that works. All right, until next time, everybody... Hey, can I get in here now? Hmm? Huh? No, you need the... You need, you need some kind of way to latch on to things. Yeah. Need that spring grab. Spring grab. All right, until next time, everybody.